Hello everyone. Today I want to discuss about the morphological patterns in histopathology. Patterns in pathology refers to how the cells are arranged in a tumor tissue or SAM tissue sample. It's important to recognize the pattern because it defines how to approach the case and ultimately reach the correct diagnosis. The, the first pattern is about the ripple pattern and where the pattern looks like ripples across the ocean or sand dunes seen from the air. This are alternating areas of cells forming cords and ripples of the stroma. So this is about ripple pattern. Then the solid pattern where the back to back cells are arrangement with no intervening space is seen in here. And nested pattern. This appears as islands of cells with a circular outline of connective tissue. So this is about the nested pattern. Cribriform pattern, the cells grow and connect in a way that creates a pattern of small holes between them which is most commonly seen in a cerebral gland tumor that is adenoid cystic carcinoma. Storyform pattern, where here the spindle cells with elongated nuclei radiating from a central point where it appears like a star-like arrangement of cells and fibers and this type of pattern is most commonly seen in case of dermatofibroma. Fascicular pattern, the long axis of spindle cells are perpendicular to one another forming a pattern that resembles a school of fish pattern that is a fascicular pattern papillary it is a pattern where the cells stick together around a central fibrovascular stack which in conjunction create a long fiber like papillary projections of a tissue this type of pattern more common is in the case of papillary carcinoma of thyroid and whether it's other um, other tumors also but most commonly prominent in case of papillary carcinoma of thyroid. Micropapillary, where here the small papillary tufts but without a fibrovascular pore is the differentiating feature from the papillary pattern. Herringbone, these are interlacing sheets of spindle shaped fibroblasts in a collagen background forming a lattice work in pattern. This is most commonly seen in case of fibrosarcoma. Stagon pattern. This pattern consists of blood vessels that are characterized by multiple thin wall, mul sharply branched and jagged vessels, which makes it appear like a antler horn of a stag. This is most common in case of fibroadenoma, which is a stromal tumor of the tissue. Linear pattern. It is also known as a single file pattern where the neoplastic cells are closely arranged behind one another forming a line. Syncytial pattern. Here the sheets of cells are intimately opposed that is these cells are arranged so closely together such that the cell membranes are difficult to discriminate from each other. This is about syncytial pattern. Trabecular pattern where the, here the cells grow in long cords with varying thickness this is about the trabecular pattern alveolar pattern where here the cells have the lung like alveolar appearance here we can see single layer of neoplastic cells that adhere to a dense fibrous septa and central cells which show a loss of cohesion this is also alveolar pattern next coming to the reticular pattern the cells proliferate in such a way as to give like a net-like appearance to a lesion displaying multiple spaces of varying sizes between the cells. This is about reticular pattern. Coming to the glandular pattern, where here the neoplastic cells are arranged in a way that forms glands with a central human. This is about the glandular pattern. Microcystic pattern. Here presence of small cystic spaces which can be empty or contain the eosinophilic or basophilic material. This is about the microcystic pattern. Then coming to the villus pattern, where here the tissue is arranged in finger-like projections. This is about the villus pattern. Asinar pattern. Here presence of round to oval clusters of epithelial cells, the central lumen that resembles the surface of a berry. The word asinus actually means berry in Latin. Moir pattern. The image resembles an optical effect where a moir pattern of fringes appears due to superposition of the two different line arrays. This is about the moir pattern. Next coming to the nodular pattern 
where here the multiple round clusters of cells are seen here that is about the nodular pattern then coming to the lipidic pattern here morphology is noted when cells proliferate along the lining of the alveolar structures of the lung this is about the lipidic pattern plexiform pattern it resembles plexus or a network or even a bag of worms this is about the plexiform pattern chicken wire pattern where here the prominent myxoid stroma is seen with delicate branching vasculature and it is not unlike a chicken wire fence pattern organoid pattern where here the meshwork of thin fibrovascular septa surrounding individual nests of tumor cells in a regular arrangement is it is of organoid pattern zellbellen pattern comes from the german word for a ball of cells this is a variant of nested pattern seen in paragangliomas here we see the small nested architecture surrounded by sustentacular cells this is the differentiating feature from that of the nested pattern thank you